you. Here's what we're doing in our music video today. Primary Academy scholars will be able to move to music, discover our secret word of the day, sing and move to O oh, Susanna, tap, echo, and repeat rhythms. Those are our goals for the day. First thing we're going to do is move to music. So I have my green dancing scarf here. So you can find something similar. Maybe it's a dish towel. Maybe it's your winter scarf. Um, if you can't think of anything, you can just use your hands and pretend like it's a scarf. Your scarf matches the music. So when I play a song for you, if the music is really fast, your scarf will move very fast. If the music is very slow, your scarf will move very slow. If the music is kind of bouncy, then your scarf moves bouncy. If the music is smooth, your scarf moves smooth. If you hear high sounds, you can wave it up high. If you hear low sounds, you can wave it down low. So I'm gonna go to my piano and play a song. And I want you to make your scarf match the music. If you need to go get something to use as a scarf, you can pause the video now. Pause, pause, pause. Find it, come back, hit play when you're done. Okay, here we go. The song for the day is number 27. Here we go. Music was pretty bouncy. That was kind of a jazzy song. So my scarf was bouncing quite a bit. I would put that at kind of a medium speed. It wasn't super fast, but it was not slow. And I thought that the music sounded kind of in the middle and maybe a little bit low. It was not super high, like we might hear if we hear the sound of a flute or the high sounds of a piano. It was kind of in the middle. So that's what my scarf did. The next thing we're going to do is to figure out our secret word of the day. We're only going to do this for a couple more weeks, and then we're going to be doing something completely different. So we have to get really good at it now. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a staff that has five lines. And by drawing those five lines, I make four spaces. And then I have my treble clef at the beginning because we are in primary academy and everything we do is in our high range, makes high sounds. Okay, the first note that I'm going to draw is here. Color it in. That's the head of the note with the stem. The stem points down because it is a little bit of a high note. To figure out what letter I'm gonna write there, my next note is here. Color in the head of the note and draw the stem. That letter will be here, and this one letter is for free. The last letter is the letter T. So something, something, T. So let's do it. Is this one on a line or in a space? That's on a line. Hopefully we're getting a little faster with this. You can tell it's on a line because the line goes right through the head of the note. And I say, if it's on a line, a sentence is fine. If it's on a line, a sentence is fine. If it's on a line, a sentence is fine. The sentence I like to use is eh, eh, every g, 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 good, b, 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 boy, d, d, nope, burger, <laughs> burger, d, 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 deserves fries. Every good burger deserves fries. Every good burger deserves fries. Every good burger deserves fries. What word did I say when I hit the head of that note? Burger. What letter does burger start with? B, 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 burger. That's the letter B. Hopefully you got that. Oops. Okay, my next note, is it on a line or in a space? That one. 
one's in a space. It's getting smushed between two lines. If it's in a space, you use your face. If it's in a space, you use your face. If it's in a space, you use your face. If I start at the bottom, I spell the word face. F A C E F A C E F A C E. What letter lines up perfectly with the head of that note? That's the letter A. A. Someone put a letter A here. B A T. B at. B at. Bat. B at. Bat. That makes me think of baseball in the Minnesota Twins. Now they hit baseballs with a baseball bat. That's our secret word of the day. The next thing we're going to do is to kind of read a story. And by kind of, I mean we're not really going to just read it. We're going to sing a story. The story is called Oh Susanna. So we're going to look through the pages first. And then I will sing the story together. Oh Susanna. This is retold by Megan Bogert Spaniel. Illustrated by Shalia McNichols and Dan Crisp. So there's our cover page. You see some musical instruments on the front of this book. Okay. Then there's this page. I wonder if you know what country that is. That's the United States. That's where we all live. This page says, Oh Susanna is a popular American folk song. It was first sung in 1847. The song follows a banjo player from Alabama. He is traveling to Louisiana to meet his true love. Now I'm looking at that back, that front page, that instrument the boy is holding. That is the banjo. Here's our picture. He's walking down a long road with his dog. He's thinking of his true love. He's got a banjo hanging on his back says, well, I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. I'm going to Louisiana, my true love, for to see. And the next picture. Looks like he's met a couple new friends. The cat is playing a fiddle or a violin. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me, for I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. Ooh, I found another way to drive in a purple truck in a purple truck it rained all night the day I left the weather it was dry the sun so hot I froze to death Susanna don't you cry this page always leaves me a little confused because it says it rained all night but then it says the weather was dry if it rains is it wet or dry outside it's usually wet the hot sun was so hot, I froze to death? Something is hot, do you freeze or do you sweat? You sweat, so I think maybe the boy, the banjo player, is uh, being a little goofy on this page. Let's look at the next one. His friends are in the back of the car with him. Oh, that reminds me of the front cover. I think it is the same picture. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me, for I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. Looks like he's sleeping in hay next to a wagon wheel. Puppy sleeping next to him, and he's dreaming of his true love. I had a dream the other night when everything was still. I thought I saw Susanna just coming down the hill. Ooh, they woke up and had a little barn dance playing some music. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me, for I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. Ooh, finds her in a field. Hmm. Up on a hill. Buckwheat cake was in her mouth, a tear was in her eye. I said, I'm coming from the south. Susanna, don't you cry. A buckwheat cake, I think it tells us at the end. But I'll let you know what that is in a minute. Oh, looks like she has a banjo too. 
Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me, for I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. On this back page, it gives me a glossary. A glossary is a list of words and it tells you what the meaning is. So the first one is a banjo, a string instrument similar to a guitar, but with a round body. So I see the donkey or the mule on the front. He's playing a guitar that looks like my guitar that I play every day. But notice how the banjo has a round body and this one's almost to me looks kind of like a figure eight. It's like a uh, guitar, but with a round body. Buckwheat, it said the, a buckwheat cake was in her mouth. It's a plant with seeds that are made into flour. Think of it like a little, like a little cake. Um, folk song is an old song that has been passed down over time within a group of people. And if something is popular, it means it's liked by a lot of people. After that page, this is what music looks like. So as we are growing and and growing our brains and what we learn in music, soon, maybe in, maybe this year, maybe next year, we're gonna be able to start to read some of this. Um, we're already starting because we can figure out what the letter names of the notes are on the staff. So, um, one day you'll get to read that when Mrs. Isles plays music. That's what she reads to uh, show you what the song sounds like. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna go back to the beginning of the book. This time I'm not gonna go as slow as I did. I'm gonna go a little faster because I'm gonna sing you the song. And if you like the song, you can reverse the video and sing it again with me. Um, I want to just show you one thing that I want you to listen for as we listen. This, These words, Oh Susanna, don't you cry for me, for I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. I read that more than once when I was reading that book. Maybe you noticed that. I read the, you might like, Mrs. Isles, you already read that. That's true. In music, sometimes we say the same thing over and over because it, because it is the most important thing to us. You might notice that when you listen to songs on the radio or on Spotify or on YouTube. Uh, you might notice that the song has parts that repeat themselves. They sing them more than once. That is called the chorus. Some people call it the refrain. And that is the most important message of the song. The other parts, the parts of the song that change every time, those are called the verses. And that's the part of the song that maybe tells the story. So the most important part of the song that repeats over and over again is called a chorus. It's called a what? A chorus. The part that changes and maybe tells the story is called the verses. What are they called? Verses. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the book, beginning of the book. I'm gonna read that first page, it tells us a little bit. Then I'm gonna sing the book to you in the way that the song is. Oh, Susanna is a popular American folk song. It was first sung in 1847. The song follows a banjo player from Alabama. He is traveling to Louisiana to meet his true love. I just remembered I wanted to show you. Alabama is here in the southern United States. Louisiana is over here. We live up here in Minnesota. Kind of far away. All right, here we go. I'm going to sing it to you. Well, I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. I'm going to Louisiana, my true love for to see. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. For I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. It rained all night the day I left, the weather it was dry. The sun's so hot it froze to death, Susanna, don't you cry. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. For I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. I had a dream the other night when everything was still. I thought I saw Susanna just coming down the hill. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. For I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. Buckwheat cake was in her mouth, a tear was in her eye. I said, I'm coming from the south, Susanna, don't you cry. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. For I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. I'm going to sing it one more time to you. 
This time, as I sing it, I want you to try to sing the chorus with me, the part that repeats again and again, the most important part of the song. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me, for I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. I also want you to pretend like you're playing a banjo. One hand's up here that's holding the head, the long stick part of the instrument, and this part's going to strum, just like you see Mrs. Isle strum her guitar. So, arms up. I want you to try to sing that chorus with me. Here we go. Well, I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. I'm going to Louisiana, my true love for to see. Sing with me. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. For I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. Rained all night the day I left, the weather it was dry. The sun's so hot I froze to death, Susanna, don't you cry. Sing with me. Oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me. For I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. I had a dream the other night when everything was still. I thought I saw Susanna just coming down the hill. Sing with me. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. For I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. Buckwheat cake was in her mouth, a tear was in her eye. I said, I'm coming from the south, Susanna, don't you cry. Last time, sing with me. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. For I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. There they are playing, playing and probably singing together. All right, we have one more thing to do today, and that's to echo, tap, and repeat some rhythms. So I have some rhythm sticks that I'm going to use. You might have something like this at home. Maybe you grab two pencils like I have here. Maybe you have two um, Minecraft toys, and you're going to tap them together. If you can't think of anything else, you can just use two fingers and tap them like this. Uh, I'm going to tap some kind of rhythm. A rhythm is a pattern in music. When you hear what I'm doing, I want you to copy me and play with me. Uh, when I get to the end, I'm going to put my sticks up here and I'm going to say, Fine! What am I going to say? Fine! Fine means stop. Our sound is done. Okay, so here's my first pattern. When you hear what I'm doing, copy me. different pattern. Uh, when you hear what I'm playing, I want you to play it with me. Fine! Here's your next one. Just do your best. Make a mistake, make a big. Just do your best. Try. Fine. One more, then we're going to do something. do something different. In music, a lot of times what we do is we group things in groups of four. We group things in groups of what? Four. So I'm going to play a pattern that lasts for four beats. 
Maybe you can hear my foot. I'm going to try to tap my foot pretty loud. So I'm going to tap my pattern for four beats, and then you are going to echo me for four beats. When you echo something, it means you listen and you play after. So if I was going first, it might sound like this. And then you would tap that same thing. Okay, so at that time, I just tapped four steady beats. And then when it's your turn, you tapped four steady beats. But it's not always a steady beat. It's going to be a pattern in music, okay? And then after it's your turn, then it's my turn again. We're just going to take turns like that, okay? So my turn first. Here I go. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. Two more. Last one. Fine. Fine means stop. Our sound is done. Okay, you can put your sticks down. We only have one thing left to do today, and that is to do our train exit. So breathe with me, Primary Academy. Here we go. Thank you for making music with me. I hope you have a magical musical day, and I'll see you next week.